Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And you can say this is for the next seven days, okay? From the date that you watch it. We just had four cards fall out. We're going to go ahead and take those. Well, what do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next seven days? Now, keep in mind, this reading may not be for you, okay? Okay, what do we got here? Okay, first card. Happiness. Happiness. So whatever is happening this week, it is about your happiness. Peacock. Beware of great pride. Beware of great pride. Rat. Someone working against you or behind your back. So you are dealing with a rat. You've got somebody here that is working behind your back. This is a pest. This is a pest. They may be trying to bring you down. All right. Um, broken ring. Parting of ways in either romance or business. So we do have a parting of ways here. A separation. So there is a separation. We have somebody here that is very smug. This is your reading. Okay. So don't get, don't get, don't get your panties in a bunch. And don't get cocky, okay? Um, this is, and I'm just telling you what I see, okay? Uh, typically, you know, a, uh, cancer is very loving, very gentle, very kind, but I've known a lot of cancers in my life, a lot. Um, a lot. I've dated my, my daughter, my, my children, my boy's father is cancer. And anyway, I could go, I'm not going to keep, I'm just, whatever. That was a long time ago. Anyhow, beware of great pride. What do we have for cancer? Typically, you're really humble, though. I mean, that's really the way I feel. I mean, typically, you are very humble, but you do have those smug moments. Absolutely. I had three kids with a cancer. I've seen it all. Six, six, six. Getting your life back on track. So you are getting your life back on track. You are going in a new direction. You're traveling towards peace and harmony. This is a very good six, six, six. This is taking the steps that you need to take to get your life back on track. So that looks good. Older woman. Some of you may be dealing with an older woman. We do have an older woman here. Now keep in mind, we still have broken ring, parting of ways in either romance or business. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, there is somebody that is working against you. This is a rat, narc, okay? Somebody that's tattling, that may be causing you some problems. <laughs> Could be dealing with a Taurus, a bull. One more card, and we got the pile. Could be dealing with an older woman that is extremely stubborn. Taurus is very, very, very stubborn, very set in their ways, unwilling to budge. They're all about stability and security. Hit and run. We have a hit and run here. Yes, now hit and run can mean many different things. It can be a one night stand. It can be an accident. It can be um, you know, a punch, somebody, you know, punching and running. It can be, um, you know, a hit. So we do have a hit and run here. We do have a hit and run. We got somebody here that doesn't re want responsibility. Could be you, could be the person you're dealing with. We got somebody here that does not really want responsibility. Hmm. 
stability, something about stability. I think that you're working on your stability right now. I think that you're in a, I think that you're you're really working on your stability and your security. You're moving away from trouble. You're trying to get out of trouble. You're trying to get out of a troubled situation. Um, you need to part ways with somebody. You do. This is either somebody that you work with or somebody that you've been in a partnership with. This person is working against you. They're not they're not your friend. This person is not your friend and it's affecting your happiness. High Priestess. High Priestess. Uh, you could be dealing with somebody that is a, is a tarot reader. This could be a tarot reader. could be a psychic, medium, empath, a counselor even, um, a healer. All right. This could also be your energy. You may have some sort of intuitive uh, gift. Okay. You may have some sort of gift. Maybe you sense that something is coming. Maybe you have a sixth sense. I do believe that you probably do. You probably know that something is coming. You're probably observing, going within, reflecting on something that is happening. Um, you know that there is somebody that is working against you behind your back. You already know who this person is. You've been in some sort of partnership with this person. You've worked with this person. Either you've, you've worked with them in a job or you've worked with them in a relationship. You know that there's secrets. You know that somebody is lying. Or you're dealing with somebody else that knows. You could be dealing with a very gifted individual that sees through everything. I mean, the high priestess, you can't pass nothing past the high priestess. Nothing. She sees all. So anyway, what do we have for cancer? Oh, I just cut it to the Nine of Swords and the Three of Wands. So the Nine of Swords is turmoil. Okay, it is. This is mental turmoil. It's struggling. It's giving deep thought to a relationship. It's uh, having a hard time sleeping. I don't know if you're dealing with some sort of regrets. Maybe you, you got some regrets. You're worried. You're extremely worried about something. I feel like uh, you need to get prepared. You need, you need to get prepared because life is about to change. I feel like you're gonna, you are definitely going in a new direction. Maybe you're worrying for no reason. I don't know. This is worry, okay? This is movement. Three of Wands is movement. So I feel like there's big plans for the future. Do not look back. There's a bright future ahead. There's nothing to worry about. You're wor it feels like you're worrying needlessly. Maybe it's time to spread your wings, you know, maybe you're ready, you know, it's time for a relocation, it's time to go someplace else. I feel like it is time, this is travel, this is like expanding yourself, it's time to go someplace else. So I feel like you, you've you been uh, obviously in a stressful situation, extremely stressful, which may have caused you to have some some sleepless nights. I feel like you've been um, maybe even depressed, you know, thinking about the future, but the future looks really, 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 really bright, okay? But that's a card of travel. So, you know, if you're worried that you're making the right decision or the wrong decision, you know, listen to your gut. It's time to go. Sixes are about moving forward, okay? They're, they're about leaving trouble behind. They're about leaving everything behind. Traveling towards balance and harmony. We have 666 here. But it requires you to take that step. What comes before sixes is fives, which is conflict and change and um, challenges, a need for change. But you have to take those steps. So I feel like there's travel in your future or moving in your future. The future definitely looks bright. This is a definite decision that is being made. Somebody is making a definite decision here. They are no longer indecisive. So maybe you're, you've been thinking a lot. Maybe, maybe it's not you that made the decision. Whoever, somebody has made a def, definite decision to move forward and they are not going back. They're not going back. There's some sort of 
uh, deep thought about a move. So I don't know if somebody has moved. Somebody is really thinking about it. They're thinking about what they did. There's, there's what if I would have done this? What if I would have done that? It's too late. Page of Cups. Page of Cups just fell out. The Page of Cups is typically good news. You know, there could be somebody that is bringing you some good news. So there is welcome and unexpected news that is coming your way. It could be even news of a child. There's opportunities for love that are coming your way as well, especially if you're single. There's an opportunity for love here. Some of you may be, maybe you have a secret admirer or you're going to be flirting with somebody new. This is the next seven days. This is follow your heart and trust your gut. Okay, listen to your listen to your intuition very, very, very much during these next seven days. Let your intuition guide you in that path. Okay, but make sure that you're grounded because Taurus is very realistic. It's very grounded. Make sure that you're being practical. You know, don't don't just act on your feelings. Be practical because sometimes when you wear your heart on your sleeve, that's when you get hurt. You could get yourself involved in a hit and run if you're not being practical, if you're not being realistic with yourself. Anyhow, Page of Cups. There is some news that is coming. making noises Ooh, we have the empress in reverse now there could be something about a child here now I don't know if I mean the empress in reverse can this could be a termination okay it could be a termination it could be freedom from somebody could be losing their their rights I mean I just being honest with you I mean the the empress in reverse is not a very good mother this is somebody that's not very nurturing not very caring doesn't really take care of her children, doesn't take care of her family, doesn't take care of herself. This is, um, this could be a termination. It could be, it could be an abortion, could be a loss of a child. Um, lack of nurturing, lack of growth. We also have a feminine here that doesn't know her value. She's very needy. She's very clingy. She's trying to force something. So there is a feminine here that is trying to force something that she's trying to force, I don't know, a connection chasing she's begging she's begging for attention this is not an empress an empress does not chase an empress does not approach a man she lets a man approach her not a, not that empress in reverse does empress in reverse is very needy very high maintenance needs needs attention will will force you know i'm going to force this connection expressing feelings there is an empress in reverse here that is needing is looking for love this empress in reverse is looking for love she's not healthy she's not empress in reverse abuse there's some i don't know if there's child abuse here it's next to the page of cups and the empress reversed i don't know if there's some sort of child abuse here Child neglect. I don't know if somebody's neglecting their child or getting told on. Or they have neglected their child. And it's going to be revealed. Or we may even just have a woman here who sleeps around. This is a cheater. Okay, the empress in reverse is somebody that has multiple partners. You know, that doesn't know her value. That needs constant attention. Cheats. Suffering. This person is in pain. We definitely have an empress in reverse here that is in some sort of pain. She's suffering. Queen of Cups reversed. Oh, this is emotional. This is disappointing. This is sad. There, there's some sort of emotional disappointment here. 
Somebody has went overboard. They've went overboard. They've went to extremes. Sees themselves as a victim. Plays the victim. We do have somebody here that is has victim mentality. That is... Uh, trying to force trying to force a connection doesn't know their value emotions all over the place it's interesting that i said you need to be practical you need to be grounded because of that taurus card taurus is very grounded okay feet stuck in the mud and then we got this queen of cups in reverse that's emotions all over the place so something that's happening where you need to ground yourself you need to ground yourself you need to master your emotions you need to come back to reality in some way you need to you need to grab you need to control your emotions during this time i feel like there is somebody that is trying to force you to do something I don't know if this is an ex or it's the mother of your children. It's interesting that I mentioned my ex. I've never mentioned him in a reading. My my children's father. He's long gone, been gone for since they I don't even know. My kids are in, in their thirties almost now, so I haven't even thought about him. So that's interesting. Um, Queen of Cups reverse. That's emotions all over the place. No growth, lack of nurturing, no love. Emotionally unavailable. Somebody is emotionally unavailable. Queen of Cups reverse. They're emotionally withdrawn. They don't have good intentions. They're trying to force somebody to be in a relationship with them. We have a, we have a, emotional mess here this is an emotional mess it's an emotional wreck going overboard going to extremes not focusing on their health not focusing on themselves there's a lack of self-love here so we have a fe female here that doesn't love herself and she's going to be taken advantage of because somebody's going to see her vulnerability Drowning in emotions. Something to do with mother, child, loss, or a relationship. Does it have to be a child? But the Page of Cups is typically a child, or you know, it has to do with a love. It's a loss of love or something like that. What is this? Nine of Cups reverse. This is a nightmare. It's like wishing I, I not getting your wish fulfillment. This is not. It's like not getting this. It's not what it, it's not. It's not. I think we have somebody here that has not accomplished what they set out to get. You know, this is not what they asked for. I feel, I feel like this is a magic bubble burst. It's, uh, I don't know if this is a social disaster even. Wishing I never got involved with this person. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very controlling, very emotionally withdrawn that... Um, is working against your back. This person is someone working against you behind your back. There is somebody that is working against you behind your back. They are turning on you. They are turning on you. You're going to wish that you never met this person, whoever this person is. It's just shattered dreams. I feel like this is wishing, it's like wishing you hadn't gotten yourself involved. That's what the Nine of Cups reversed is, wishing that you hadn't gotten yourself involved. You're dealing with a very mean-spirited individual. Could be you, if you're, if you're the feminine watching this. Nine of Cups reversed. Emotionally withdrawn. Beware of great pride, parting of ways in either romance or business. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. That's what we have. We also have Libra. So we have uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
This is, this is the, the King of Pentacles is a hard worker. This is somebody that is very focused on their stability, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're focused on their security. This is somebody who has built up their financial success. They are very creative. This is a creator. This is somebody that creates abundance through hard work and perseverance. So I feel like, I feel like, uh, you are, this is in your other person position. You're dealing with somebody that is a hard, hard worker. They focus on their work. They focus on their money. They focus on their bank account. They focus on their job. They focus on, on all of that. They focus on their stability and their security more than they focus on a relationship. This person is holding on to what they got. They're holding on to their value. They're not giving it away. They're definitely not going to give it away to somebody that is mean-spirited and forceful and emotions. Cry, baby. Sorry. Queen of Cups reversed. You know, somebody that can't even master their emotions, that can't take care of themselves. Or somebody that doesn't take care of their children. You know, there, there's somebody here that really needs to master their... There's emotions, drowning in emotions, okay? The King of Pentacles is all about stability, like that Taurus card. All about security and knows their value. So we definitely have a hard-working individual here who has a golden, a huge opportunity. This is something solid, something real, something stable in their hands. But behind it is the Queen of Cups reverse. That is, that's like malicious behavior it's victim mentality it's crying all the time you know using emotions you know to get your way so i'm not sure if that's you but there's somebody here that's using their emotions you know and the king of pentacles be like you know what see ya the king of pentacles is all about calm you know calm and and uh down to earth and laid back so there is a very laid back individual here who has who is waiting who is waiting this person is waiting to give they're waiting to give what they have to offer they're not and i, I don't know if there's a rejection here there could definitely be a termination okay or a rejection or a loss it's extremely emotional I don't know if somebody is turning their back. They're turning their back on, it feels like we have a masculine that is turning their back on a feminine that is a mess. This is a mess. This is a, this, 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 this woman cannot keep it under control at all. It's like she's always in pain, you know, she's always crying. Pentacles next to the King of Pentacles. So there's, you know, Ten of Pentacles about stability and security and long term abundance. Happy home, comfortable home. There is somebody here that can offer you comfort. It's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But you have to, you can't sleep around. You can't cheat. You have to be emotionally available. You can't, you can't go to extremes. You can't be forceful. I feel like you are going to be receiving an opportunity from somebody. You know, this is, this is somebody that may, maybe you have a secret admirer here. Or you have somebody here that's been flirting with you or that is interested in you. But I feel like... There's some sort of rejection. There is some sort of rejection. So it's interesting. It is very, very, very interesting. It's like trying to force it is going to push this person away. Because whoever you're dealing with is so solid and stable. This person is not going to put up with it. They're not going to put up with it. It's, and there could be some addictions here. I don't know if there's a drinking problem or drugs or something like that. It's like whoever you're dealing with is so focused on stability and security and abundance that they're not going to put up with mean-spirited, uh, poor, poor, pitiful me. I can't do this. And, 
you know, I'm going to drink myself to death or drug myself to death energy. And we did have death on the bottom a minute ago and I shuffled, so it's gone now and that's why I said that. But the Eight of Swords reversed is breaking free. It's breaking free, an obstacle being removed. Somebody has been tied to a situation with a woman that doesn't even take care of them. And if you are a man watching this, a masculine watching this, you know your value. You have a lot to offer. You know, don't, don't, maybe you just wait. You wait for somebody that sees what you have to offer. This woman, whoever this woman is, is a nightmare. This woman is a nightmare. She's needy. She's self-absorbed. She's clingy. She's possessive. She's jealous. Her emotions are all over the place. She has some sort of addictions, you know. She goes to extreme. She cries all the time, you know. She's an emotional mess. There's a woman here that is an emotional mess. And she's losing the Empress Reverse. She's losing. She's this is a loss. That is a loss of wish fulfillment. This Empress in Reverse is not going to get what she wants because she's trying to manipulate with her victim mentality, emotional blackmail. She's trying to manipulate with her emotions. When you're dealing with the Queen King of Pentacles, oh, hell no, hell no. If you aren't stable, if you're going to cry all the time, ha! No way. Ain't happening. So, anyhow, um, <laughs> Eight of Swords reverse, that's freedom. That is freedom. Being somebody, an obstacle is being removed. There's some sort of reevaluation going on. Somebody is breaking free from some, something that they have been tied to, that they have been trapped in. They've been held back by fear or something like that, but this is totally breaking free. Whoever you're dealing with is very solid, very stable, very abundant. I don't know if this person is rich. There is somebody here that has a lot of money, King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. But this person is not going to deal with a delusional, somebody that is delusional, Queen of Cups reverse, that can't master their emotions, emotions all over the place, that isn't thinking clearly. has a huge opportunity for somebody that is marriage material looking for long-term commitment this person is looking for long-term commitment somebody that is loyal and solid I see a happy family in the future. But right now, there's some sort of emotional disappointment. I feel like it's a rejection. Or a loss. It may have something to do with a father as well. So something to do, I don't know why I want to say father. You know? I feel like we have somebody here that, I don't know if it's a father, we have somebody here who has some sort of abundance. They have some sort of money, you know. Um, they may be turning their back. Somebody is turning their back on an emotionally, emotional mess. This person doesn't, uh, it's a nightmare. This is definitely some sort of freaking nightmare. Hmm. Hit and run. One hit. Hit can also be drugs. And I do see going to extremes, going overboard. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is slowly going in a new direction, which you are. Laying a new foundation, stabilizing, headed towards stability. You are definitely, there is an older woman that can help you towards stability. But you have to be willing to let this person help you. This is somebody that is very, very skilled, that is stable, solid, and secure. They can, they can bring you to a place 
where there is long-term stability. So you're going to be getting an opportunity. Good luck. 